Welcome to my channel, Hotspot with Loveth, the ultimate spot for all things entertainment, ranging from celebrity gists, reviews, interesting stories, and African folktales. Subscribe now. Hi, BB Niger fans. It's yet another exciting episode of Hotspot with Loveth. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so very much for your continuous support. I appreciate every bit of it. Now, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to stay updated with my latest videos. Now, in this video, guys, I would be diving into the drama, the complex relationships, and the high stakes conspiracies brewing in the Big Brother Niger house. Trust me, guys, you would not want to miss this one. So, stay tuned till the end. So guys, starting from Monday, day two of the season, there has been already the potential for our first female rivalry and a second love triangle in the house. Now, Sean and Wani have been getting cozy. They are constantly cuddling and talking, although they have not completely isolated themselves from the rest of the housemates. However, Sean is dealing with some tension with his partner, Victoria. So guys, how did this tension arise? Now, during the immunity challenge, Victoria fell and bruised herself badly, which caused some friction between them. Both felt the other didn't perform well enough and they couldn't resolve their issues because of constant interruptions. This left Sean frustrated and Victoria feeling neglected. Now, to add another layer of complexity, there are rumors swelling online that Sean and Victoria might be exes. Now, if this is true, it simply means that this complicates Sean's situation further as he tries to balance his partnership with Victoria and his new connection with Wani. And guys, from the looks of things, Victoria seems quite territorial about Sean and she confided in another housemate, Suj, who is interested in her. However, Suj thinks or feels that Victoria's interest is towards Sean. He thinks that Victoria likes Sean. Now guys, this evolving situation hints a potential rivalry between Victoria and Wani, as well as a love triangle involving Sean. Now, Victoria's territorial behavior combined with Wani's budding connection with Sean sets the stage for some intense drama. As we know, guys, relationships in Big Brother House can make or break a housemate's game. And this situation is no exception. Will Sean be able to navigate these murky waters? Or will the brewing rivalry between Victoria and Wani escalate, creating even more tension in the house? Only time will tell. So guys, let's shift gears and talk about the house conspiracies. Now, housemates are busy conniving and strategizing, and I am here for all of it. Now, one of the standout pairs is Zion and his girlfriend, Chinwe, who have identified Kesia and Kelly Ray as a married couple and are planning to create a storm in their relationship by pushing forward Anita and Victoria to catch Kelly Ray's interest. Now, this plan could exploit Toby's advances towards Kasia, which is already causing tension with Kelly Ray. Now, Zion and Chinwe have been closely observing the dwarf pair situation. Chinwe was the first to realize that Kasia and Kelly Ray are a married couple and not just best friends as they claimed. Now, ever since, Zion and Chinwe have been planning to disrupt that lie. They aim to push Anita and Victoria, whom they feel is Kelly Ray's type. Guys, if Zion and Chinwe capitalizes on this situation, their plan might work perfectly, adding another layer of drama to the house. Now, next on this gist is Ben from The Better Pair, along with the Cheka sisters, that is, Chizoba and Oyeka. Now, Ben is encouraging the sisters to pursue a relationship with Femi from The Radical Pair because he sees a bright future in him. Guys, it seems like the set of housemates that we have this season are matchmakers. People trying to matchmake people to create tension, to create turmoil. And is there anyone who is actually genuine in this matchmaking thing? <laughs> I wouldn't know. 
Guys, still on this matchmaking topic, there is TJ, also from the Better Team, who has declared his mission to matchmake people in the house, to promote harmony. Now, while his first statement about everyone living like brothers and sisters is highly unrealistic, his second about matchmaking is interesting. However, this plan of his is coming late because Onyeka has already taken on the role of pushing people towards forming ships. Guys, Onyeka has especially been persistent with the Mbadiwe twins, although they rejected her matchmaking attempts. Despite some housemates feeling uncomfortable with her pushiness, Onyeka remains undeterred, moving on around with her agenda and strategy of forming ships in the house. Now the big question is, will her persistence pay off or will it backfire and make her a target? It's going to be a fascinating one to watch. Now guys, speaking of conspiracies, brace yourself for a wild ride because specific housemates are conspiring with each one working harder than the devil. Now the housemates are already conspiring on how to mess up their competitors' games in the house. And I am here for all of it. They are all trying not to lose their guard, standing their ground and staying alert. They all seem to be woke. The best part is that they came in pairs. So there's no such thing as just two people gossiping or being malicious. As people claim when they see two people sitting together talking, and the target gossiping. This time around, when we see a pair talking or speaking about anyone, it is normal. It is within their right to do so because they are a pair and they need to work together to achieve their goal in that house. Guys, this season, as early as now, we are seeing a lot of strategic maneuvering as pairs try to outwit and outlast each other. From Zinwe's plans to expose Double K to Ben's encouragement of the Cheka sisters to pursue Fermi, each pair diligently plotting their way and path to victory. Guys, go on various social media platforms. Everyone is talking about Onyeka, Onyeka, Onyeka. And it is no doubt that TJ and Onyeka's matchmaking missions are also adding a unique twist to the game. Guys, at this point, yes, at this early point, the stakes are high in the Big Brother Niger house. These efforts can easily backfire, creating more tensions and conflict. And we the viewers are here for all of the drama. You know, as viewers, we are always speculating about the housemates' next moves. Will Victoria and Wani's rivalry escalate? Will Sean be able to navigate his complicated relationships? How will Zion and Chiwis plan to explore Kesia and Calibre unfold? And what about Onyeka's matchmaking efforts? Will they create harmony or chaos? I'd love to really hear your thoughts on all of these. Do you think Victoria and Wani will come to blows? Will Sean be able to keep his cool? How do you think Zion and Chiwi's plan will play out? And what are your predictions for Onyeka's matchmaking mission? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Guys, the drama, the strategies, the relationships, it is all unfolding right before our eyes. And it is no news that the Big Brother Niger house is a microcosm of human behavior, showcasing the best and worst of us. As the season progresses, we can expect more twists, turns, and surprises. And I will be here to spill all the tea, analyze the gameplay, and share my insights with you. So guys, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and have your post notifications turned on. You do not want to miss a single update. Thank you for watching Hotspot with Love F. Until next time, have an amazing time.